Today a lesson will begin to build a three wire control diagram. Um, so in previous videos you may or may not remember uh, the uh, ladder PLC ladder elements. So here we're going to just simply select the normally open contact and drop a few of those in. So we're going to have a stop button, a start button, a motor auxiliary contact, and then further down the line I'm going to place the overload contact. Uh, right here I'm going to select an output coil and drop that in as well. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create the wire and finish the ladder diagram. Again, these are just left clicking to drop the wires in place. You can see the black line here to indicate where the wire will be placed in what direction. Okay, so once we have those, we're going to go back to the select option. And by double clicking on any bit, you can create a name. So I'm going to get rid of that one. We're going to call this stop. And then as we talked about in class, it is a comma. And then percent I will allow you to label it as an input. Okay, double click on the next one. And that's going to be a start. Comma percent I as well. All right. And then before I get too far, I'd like to point out something in the inspector window on the left hand side. So in the inspector window, it'll tell us a little bit of information about the actual bit that we've selected. So here I'm on the uh, stop button. Okay, and you can see that we have a percent I001. So that's going to be our input one. Okay, I'm just going to continue on here. I'm going to double click on this bit. I want this to be auxiliary, so aux, comma, percent I. All right. now you may or may not remember that um, if you go in order, these bits are going to be labeled uh, in order as well. So the program will keep track of that. So here we are with input 3, and I'm going to double click on the overload. Again, no spaces, so O underscore L, comma, percent I. Oh, I'm sorry comma, percent I. Okay, that should be 4. And then if you recall from class, we name our outputs and label them with a percent Q. So I'm going to double click on that. Say motor, comma, percent Q. Alright, so we have all of our, um, our bits in there. And we could add descriptions. So if we click on stop, go right here to the description window and we want to know that this is a normal closed push button so n dot c space pb and that will tell me that that's a normally closed push button now okay so uh, feel free to go back and uh, stop and go to the portions that you need of this video uh, as you know it's on the youtube channel thanks